My name is Erin, I'm 26 years old, and I consider myself recovered from anorexia nervosa and compulsive exercise. I wanted to make this video to encourage people who are maybe just beginning recovery, in the stages of contemplating recovery, part way there and don't feel like they can make it all the way, or perhaps not even thinking about recovery and not on your radar at all, but just open to hearing um, how people have made it through. Um, whoever you are, I hope that this provides some kind of uh, something to relate to or encouragement on your journey. When I think about my eating disorder, the overwhelming thing that I remember is fear. I woke up fearful. I went to bed fearful. I lived in fear all day long. The fear was a creation of my eating disorder. It compelled me to do things that I, at my core, did not want to do and to not do things that I knew I needed to do. Um, fear ruled my entire life. And the tricky thing about fear is that it convinces you to give into it as a way of easing your anxiety. I'm, you know, I'm fearful that if I do X, Y will happen. And so I'm not going to do X. And the problem with that is then you never discover if Y really happens. And so by never giving yourself the chance to discover, you're concluding that it does happen or it will happen every single time. And you're giving that fear complete power and control over your life. And what I found was that even though I would think that if I gave in to these things that I feared, it would reduce my anxiety, more things to fear just came up again and again and again. And if I, if I did X to avoid Y, something new would come up, you know, then I'd have to do P to avoid Q. And I would have to keep doing X to avoid Y because I never let myself see if Y was something to truly be afraid of. And the key to my recovery, and I think to a lot of people's recovery, was breaking through that fear and realizing that I was making decisions, that's my cat, <laughs> I was making decisions out of fear, I was not making decisions out of love. And my therapist told me early in my recovery that every decision you make is either made out of fear or out of love. In my eating disorder, the decisions I made were based on fear of change, fear of losing control, fear of gaining weight, fear of losing fitness level, fear of losing my image, fear of losing my friends, my career, my anything. It was all based on fear. None of it was based on love. And in recovery, the decisions that I've made have been based out of love. First, they were decisions made based on a love of life because I realized that I was losing mine. I was having the physical symptoms of a body shutting down that can't do it for too much longer. And it became real to me. I realized that I loved life. There were things that I remembered loving about life and I wanted them back. Secondly, I had to at least start to love myself and start to acknowledge that I deserve the things that other people deserved, like food and rest and happiness. I had to begin to love myself, even just love little tiny things about myself as baby stepping stones. And then eventually I think what has sustained my recovery has been my love for other people and my realization that in my eating disorder I couldn't love people the way that I wanted to. I couldn't be fully present. My eating disorder made me dishonest and manipulative and hurtful. I made decisions out of the fear of my disorder that hurt people and put them down in ways that I would never have done without it. When I started making more and more of my decisions out of love for life and for myself and for the other people in my life, turning down the fear, working through the fear, pushing through it, and doing things even though they scared me, became easier and easier because the only way you discover that there's nothing to fear is if you do it. And it's really hard, especially in the beginning, when you're used to complying and used to saying, it's too scary, I can't do it. It's pretty hard to do it anyway. But the more you do it, the easier it gets until you're doing things that scare you every single day and you're doing things that used to scare you every single day, every single minute. 
and it just gets easier and easier. And there are slip ups and there are moments where you feel like you're taking a step back, but in the long run, you keep going forward and you do get to a place of full recovery. Everything that you ever want is on the other side of this fear that's holding you back. And if you want to get there, you just have to be able, be able to do the things that scare you. And you will.